On today's top tip, we're linking Teo with X Particles and Nexus. We'll take this tree, we'll apply some nice wind forces to it, but then we'll use X Particles and Nexus to animate those leaves blowing off the tree in this turbulent wind. Let's get started. In our scene, we have this animated Teo plant with some really kind of angry wind force going on. What we want to do is we want to replace these geometry leaves with some particles. So the way we'll do that, go to the plant, plant layers, and in our leaf layer, it's set to the default basic geometry, but we want to change this to emitter. And now if we add an emitter, now we have a particle for every one of those leaves. Let's go to our emitter display tag and put this on plane and then you'll see that we're still getting that wind animation on our leaves. Now what we would do at render time is that you would instance your leaf object using the appropriate tag, whatever render uh, engine you're using, or you could use an X particles generator to generate some leaf geometry from the position of these particles. So that's the, the way you get the actual geometry but we're just going to look at how we will um, animate these particles we want them to be removed from the tree so let's go to the extended data of our particle first we want to activate use rotation and we're going to put this on non so this isn't actually going to control the ro rotation it's just activating the ability for the particles to rotate because we want them to spin when they leave the tree and we're going to do that with an x particles modifier so we're going to go to x particles modifiers motion spin and this one will go to the object tab we're just going to put some random spin and let's put this on say 10 10 and 10 and what we want to do is map this spin so the particles start spinning when they get to a certain speed so let's go to the mapping add a map the parameter we want to map is that random spin value that we've just put in and we want to map it to the particle speed and let's just say between 0 and 50 centimeters so at 0 centimeter speed there'll be no spin and as they get faster the spin will go up and up and up until they've got that full spin value at 50 centimeters cool so now we want to remove these particles from these branches as if they're being blown off by the wind let's go to our um, emitter we're going to go to the groups tab we're going to do this with groups we're going to hold control click twice to make two particle groups and the mode we're going to put onto first group only. So when the particles are born, they're all put into group one. There are no particles in group two at the moment. Now we're going to get a Nexus wind modifier. There it is. Let's move it here. I'm going to rotate it. And what I want to do is link the rotation of my particle wind with the forces of our Teo. And we can do that if we go to the Teo plant, forces tab. Look, we have a direction from object. So if I put my wind in there, now, wherever I rotate my wind, it'll also change the forces of the tree. Very cool. So now if I hit play, and uh, these are going to get blown off here straight away. Let's just get this movement right first. Let's go to the wind. We're going to put it in Von Karman mode, make it really strong. And then in our turbulence, we're going to actually put the turbulence down a bit, to maybe 50. And let's put our friction velocity up to maybe 2.3. Now hit play and we should have some angry gusting wind. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so now we want our wind to only affect particles in group two. So let's go to the groups affected tab, drag in particle group two. And now when we hit play, nothing happens because there aren't any particles in group two yet. We're going to use fields to put them into group two. To do that, we're going to use an NX question. Let's bring one in. And let's get the field in first. We'll go to the field tab, bring in a spherical field. And let's just put that up here. And then in the question, we're going to add a new question. And here we're going to say, if the particle field is greater than zero, which means anywhere inside the field, then do something. Uh, we want to do an action. And we want to set not the color, but we want to set the group to particle group two. OK, so when it goes in the field, it sets the group to two and then it's affected by the wind cool let's just add one more thing we'll add a bit of variation let's go back to our question with this question highlighted we'll bring in a new one this question needs to be an and so in the field and this and what we're going to do is put it on math random 
and we're going to give each particle a random number between zero, uh, minus 100 and 100, and that number is going to change um, every frame. And we're saying that if that number on any one frame is greater than 85, then move group. So we just need to do one thing. We need to put this action as a child of that new question. So it asks both first. So now we've got a bit of randomness. Not every particle as it's in the field is going to be released. You, look, these are still attached, these ones. And it just gives us a little bit more of a random blowing off of those leaves. Really nice effect.